Welcome back to yet another generic tech review. I'm Generic Eric, and in this video, we are going to be reviewing the Fotri wireless lavalier mic, or uh, Fotri, 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 not 100% sure how to say it. Um, it is the ultra portable mini wireless microphone. Uh, very descriptive. Um, this was sent to me by Fotri, obviously. They said, hey, check out our lavalier mics. I don't usually use them. As, as you can see, I'm using a Rode pod mic, big fan of them. Anyways, so we are gonna check this out. Let's get to unboxing. So it comes with the charging case uh, that you can open up and put the microphone into charge. Of course, the microphone itself uh, and then it comes with a clip that goes onto the charging case. It also comes with a USB-C to USB-C cable, a 3mm TRRS cable, a Type-C USB-C to USB cable, 3mm TRS cable. Setup is uh, fairly simple, um, but you can see here that you can place the microphone itself inside the charger case. Uh, it's got the USB-C and the 3.5mm connection on the back. The microphone itself has a clip on the bottom so you can uh, attach it to your lapel uh, and then a button on the front that turns it on and also powers it on and off. Just place it in there, close it up, and you can see the battery life on the front of the charging case. Um, there's a magnetized clip for the bottom of the charging case, so it's pretty easy to connect. Uh, I'm connecting it to my computer with the USB-C to USB cable. Plug it in and then turn it on by pressing a button on the back of it. Uh, the first light will light up blue to show that it's on. Uh, you can also press and hold the button on the mic to turn the mic on. You can see that little LED and then if you press it again, it'll mute it. And you can see the color of the LED change. And here it is. It's a very small little thing. Uh, I like it. It's not like the kind of lavalier mics I expect, I guess, because I grew up you know, going to church and in those churches they had the ones that were just like with the little cover thing. Anyway, it's a nice uh, little pill shape uh, and you tack it on like right here, here on my uh, shirt because I feel like that will give us the best sound. And unfortunately I don't have another lavalier mic to compare the audio to so we are going to be comparing the audio to a Rode pod mic which I don't think is a necessarily a fair comparison, but you can at least hear the difference between whether or not you're thinking about using a dynamic mic uh, for your streams or something like that, or if you're thinking about using one of these. Um, as a streamer, I can probably say that it's, it's better to use something like this. It's an, definitely an upgrade to your stream to go to a dynamic or a condenser mic like the Rode Pod mic. Um, but if you are someone who gets up and dances around a lot, I know that there are a lot of Just Dance streamers or cooking streamers or streamers who are doing cosplay stuff. Something portable and wireless like this uh, would be a lifesaver. Um, I've also seen people wearing the wireless headsets. Um, so let's check this out. Let's see what the audio sounds like and uh, we'll go from there. And now we are listening to the audio from the Fotri wireless mic. Shuffling my clothes around. You know, because in case I'm just like, you know, trying to impress somebody and I'm just like, yeah, looking good. Popping the collar. Um, I'm going to take my headphones off and we are going to walk away from the uh, receiver. The receiver is plugged in right to the left of me on my desk. It's not very far. We're going to walk away from that. I'm going to keep talking and we'll see what happens. You can watch the dogs in the background in the meantime. Anyways, all right, let's go all the way to the other side of the room. Please don't mind. Um... My super long shirt underneath my hoodie. I wear big and tall shirts because I'm fat. <laughs> Awkward. Uh, this is about maybe 20 in the bathroom right now. Um, let's go upstairs. So, still talking. I don't know if it cut out at all. Um, and then the last thing I want to do. Whew. Oh, geez. I'm out of shape. Let's go outside. Disconnected. Connected. All right, let's head back to the... Let's head back and see what has happened. So, I'm going to stop the video. 
listen to the audio uh, and see how far how far I was able to get without it cutting out. So, okay, so I'm back. I went all around the house. It seems like the only time that the microphone actually lost connection was when I was in my driveway in the back of the house. All right, so obviously that was incorrect. Uh, <laughs> watching it back now, I realized that it cut out a whole lot. Um, it cut out walking away from the computer to the back of the room. Uh, it cut out when I was in the front of the house, still downstairs, and then also going upstairs, um, and then it cut out in the backyard. Um, some of that had barriers in between the, the receiver and me, and some of it did not. Um, I couldn't really see uh, consistent connectivity, so the connectivity doesn't seem to be great. Um, I listened back and the quality, again, the quality of the microphone isn't the best. Currently, I am sitting here next to my beautiful wife, Jen, who is just off screen, and uh, I'm gonna have her say some stuff so we can see how much of that is picked up by the microphone that is hooked up to my caller. Hi. Hi. My name is Jen. Hey, how's it going, Jen? Um, I'm just eating lunch. No, oh, cool. I mentioned our podcast earlier. Oh yeah, Generic In Talkers. Uh, you can see it every other Friday. Yeah. On podcast sites near you, <laughs> and all, and and you could find it live on Twitch. Um, okay, so we'll see how that sounded. Uh, I'm gonna actually be quiet for a second and see what it picks up. Shuffle around. Hi, Peggy. No, don't talk. <laughs> Uh, a few other things. It does say on the back that it uh, has a battery life of about 20 hours. So after leaving the microphone sitting there for about 24 to 28 hours, honestly, it still had a charge. So it seems like uh, it actually does have a really good battery life. Uh, wireless distance 50 meters without barriers, 10 meters with obstacles. Um, one more thing I wanted to test on here. We currently are using it hooked up to our uh, computer, but I'm going to plug this all up into my phone and record via that and then play for you the audio here. This is me recording from my phone. Listen to the recording audio and judge its quality. Thank you and have a good day. And just for comparison, this is recording uh, with the microphone built into the phone. So you can hear the quality difference between those two things. I know that quality isn't the only reason that you would be using a lavalier mic, but it is still something that I think should be compared. So I went back and uh, listened to the audio from the um, phone using the wireless mic as well as using the phone microphone. Um, I was recording on a Samsung Galaxy S8, uh, and I'd say that the quality of the microphone on the actual phone itself uh, sounds better than the quality of the lavalier mic. However, you do have the ability to put your phone in your pocket and have the lavalier mic connected to your collar. Uh, I think that that's a big plus. I guess you have to weigh those two options, whether or not you want to hold the phone up to your mouth or if you're going to do something like a live stream. Um, you don't have to worry about the phone being too close to you where you're filming with the phone and then you have the lavalier mic connected to your shirt. Um, your audio is always going to sound the same throughout the entire thing, so I think that is a plus. So after going back and listening to the audio from the microphone again, um, I really can't recommend this microphone, uh, to be honest, because the audio quality is just not there. Uh, I went and actually looked at some other review videos for cheaper microphones on Amazon, and honestly, you can get a better deal getting a cheaper microphone um, on Amazon. There are some like $35 microphones on there that have a bunch of five-star ratings. Uh, and this one is just, I don't think that it's worth the money. Comparatively to cheaper lavalier mics, uh, this one doesn't really sound as good. It doesn't hold its own. So unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to recommend this. It doesn't really have any, uh, any redeeming qualities except for the fact that the battery life is really good on it. <laughs> That's about the best thing I could say about it, to be honest. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you found this video informative. If you did, please like, comment, and subscribe, and all that stuff to help out our channel. Uh, if you are a company looking for more reviews of your stuff, your tech stuff, or whatever, I don't care, uh, message us, genericlive at gmail.com. 
uh, Jin and I stream at twitch.tv slash generic live, so make sure you don't miss that. We have a lot of fun over there. Uh, and we will catch you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.